everyone, my name is Rui and welcome to the Maths Advanced video series. So to kickstart this video series off, I just want to talk a bit about the new syllabus and how it may potentially affect your studying throughout the course of the year. So traditionally, past papers have pretty much been a go-to option for studying mathematics. Reason being the course has been very skills-based and you really need to get yourself used to the style of question that they're most likely to give you in the exam and train your brain to really be able to adapt to them. Now, the good news is that for the most part, I say this privilege isn't fully forfeited because I would say roughly 70% of the current course content comes from the old syllabus anyway, so you still have a whole bunch of questions regardless. These are perhaps what I feel will be the two main problems throughout the year. Number one, as you can imagine, the other 30% must pose some problem at least. But I would say, firstly, within that 30%, a huge chunk of it come from the new stats topic anyway, so they'll give you an idea about where you should focus on. But then the other little things, for example, transformations, interval notation with domains, all of that stuff, I don't think they're really the hardest things in the math advanced course. I think they're more on the easier end. And in my honest opinion, with enough effort and more exposure to questions, you should be able to overcome this barrier reasonably smoothly. And then number two, perhaps more problematically, will be the stuff that's been moved out of the two-unit course. So my advice is this. At the very least, try to give these questions a go anyway, because they should still be doable using whatever knowledge you've seen in the Mass Advanced course this year. But I will be honest, every now and then you will see some problem that just happens to be too unfamiliar, for example, geometry or lockers or that stuff. And when that happens, yes, you will need to make a judgment about when to skip it. But before you do, I would probably advise asking your teacher or someone else qualified enough just for advice on if you really should skip it or if it's doable anyway. But other than that, it's all up to you. Best of luck in your studies, everyone.